a um, time lapse of the Auto uh, Ironman Canada Ottawa 2025 bike course. Um, so it's going to be 180 kilometers, uh, 2.75 loops of, of this trek. Um, I'll break it down into roughly three sections, um, sort of the Western Parkway uh, from T1, uh, the downtown section, um, and then the Eastern Parkway. Uh, so we'll do a time lapse um, of the uh, of the the first lap, so about 64 kilometers, uh, stopping right around this section here, and then so that'll be one lap, and then you'll do a second lap from here all the way out, and then the third lap you'd start here, um, go all the way out, and then stop by Parliament uh, for T2. All right, here we go. So we are leaving T1 right now. Britannia Beach is to the to behind us. We're going up Greenview Avenue. There's a bit of a climb here, coming up to Carling Avenue. We make a left. It's a busy road here, but uh, should be all cleared up for race weekend. Now we're going to be swinging a right to enter the western part of the parkway. This parkway is actually divided up into west and eastbound traffic. Uh, I'm currently traveling on the westbound lanes, heading east. Uh, it's what's closed for Ottawa's active use weekends. There's a lot of construction right now, as you can see, um, with the light rail train project and the Westboro Beach rejuvenation. So hopefully that gets all cleared up, or at least most of it, uh, before race day. The road here is a little bit rough. Uh, but again, hopefully we'll improve after all the uh, construction is done. This is a little bit rolling. There's a little bit of a climb here. And then another one right here. And you get that downhill down. The War Museum is to your wards, your left-hand side there. And now we're going to be entering the downtown section. This is a little bit of a climb to get up towards Parliament down into the downtown section. We turned on to Lyon and then Laurier. We're going to be continuing straight on Laurier all the way across. There is City Hall to the right hand side. And we're going to be turning right to enter the Queen Elizabeth Parkway. Again, this area is closed on weekends for active use. From here, we'll be making a right hand turn. Right here, onto Wilton Crescent, and onto Bank Street, onto Echo, and now onto Colonel By. That's the canal onto your left hand side. We, we should be running on this section as well. Continuing onwards, we're going to be heading back towards sort of the downtown core. There's the University of Ottawa to your right hand side, and the canal to your left. This is Rideau Street here, so Parliament is actually towards your left. That's where T2 will be, and the finish line. Now we're exiting the downtown area, and we're heading towards the Eastern Parkway. This area is a little bit rolling. But I find the, uh, the roads to be in much better shape. There could be a headwind uh, heading out onto this section, uh, but then you'll be uh, helped out by the tailwind coming back. On towards your left hand side is the Aviation Museum. And a little bit of a rolling terrain coming up towards the end before the turnaround. We're going over a little overpass.
Here's the overpass here. And then dip down, make the U-turn, and then now heading back. Excuse the uh, the map on the upper left. Um, I think the GoPro's GPS kind of wonked out a bit there. But it is a straight out and back in this section, so that double track you see coming up is, uh, is a little bit false. So heading back from the eastern part of the parkway. And there's the Aviation Museum to your right hand side. That section of the parkway is also closed on weekends for active use. So if you're coming into Ottawa, you can ride a lot of this without dealing with much traffic. And some rollers here. Heading back now into the downtown section again. National Art Gallery to the right hand side. We just turned right on Dorito Street, so now we're passing Parliament. So that would be T2 and the end of your 2.75 loop. But we're now exiting downtown and we're heading back towards the Western Parkway. There's the Ottawa River to your right hand side. So we would have been traveling eastbound on this. Now we're heading back out west. And we should be coming up to the turnaround point soon. So we don't go all the way back towards T1. We make a turn a little bit before. So that is a conclusion of the first loop of the Ironman Canada Ottawa 2025 uh, bike course. Um, so that was about 63, 64 kilometers um, with 241 uh, meters of elevation. And that was similar on my Garmin as well. Um, and then on Strava. So the major points of the major sort of climbs or rolling sections uh, is just coming out of T1 uh, to get onto Carling. It's gonna be a little bit of a bump uh, on the Western Parkway, there are a couple of little risers um, coming into downtown. Uh, there's going to be a rise, um, yeah, coming up to Parliament Hill. Downtown is pretty flat. Uh, all the section is pretty flat. And then coming in towards the far end of the Eastern Parkway, uh, there's a little riser going up the overpass and then back down. And then again, climbing into Parliament, there's going to be another little bump here. And then going down. I was riding uh, a compact 5034 with an 1130 cassette in the back. Um, I never had to drop down into the small chain ring, um, but was using the last two to three cogs pretty liberally just to spin up some of these hills and not having to stand. But if you're running something a bit bigger or tighter, uh, in the back, uh, you might be standing just to uh, get up those climbs, but it might be nice to change the position a little bit. And that's it. So there's the Western Parkway, downtown section, Eastern Parkway, heading back, um, and then turn around before you head back towards T1. Do that all over again one more time, plus uh, another time, but ending at Parliament. And that would take you uh, probably close to 180 kilometers, 2.75 loops. Hope that was helpful.